They are easy to spot in a crowd. White shirt, tie, name tag, traveling in pairs. You've seen them on foot, on bikes, and perhaps even knocking on your door. Have you ever wondered who they are, where they come from, or what they do? This is Mormon missionaries. Made simple. At any given time, there are more than 50,000 Mormon missionaries serving around the world. There are three types of missionaries, single men and single women in their 20s, and older retired couples. Men serve for 24 months, women for 18 months, and retired couples for an indefinite period of time. Single men are the most common type of missionary, accounting for around 80% of the missionary pool. To be considered for a mission, a prospective missionary submits an online application to church headquarters. Included with this application is the recommendation of his local church leader, known as a bishop. Within a few weeks, a mission assignment, otherwise known as a mission call, arrives in the mail. Missionaries don't request their area of assignment, so they could be headed to any one of approximately 350 missions worldwide. Missions like Tulsa, Oklahoma, Santiago, Chile, or even Jakarta, Indonesia. As you can imagine, opening the envelope is a very anxious and exciting moment. The first stop for any missionary is the Missionary Training Center, or MTC for short. Of the 17 MTCs located around the world, the largest of these is located in Provo, Utah. Think of the MTC like boot camp, but for missionaries. At the MTC, missionaries spend anywhere from 3 to 12 weeks studying the gospel, learning teaching skills, and if necessary, learning a foreign language. Fun facts. 50 different languages are taught at the MTC. 350 missionaries arrive each week for training. 2,200 pounds of Lucky Charms are consumed by MTC missionaries each month. When training is finished, missionaries report to their assigned mission to serve the remainder of their term. Okay, let's go over a few logistics. A mission is subdivided into zones, districts, and areas. Each area is staffed by a pair of missionaries called a companionship. Generally, each companionship has an experienced senior companion and a less experienced junior companion. Each district is supervised by a district leader and each zone by a zone leader. Finally, each mission is supervised by a mission president and his wife, who work from a central mission office. Missionary life is highly structured. Missionaries are expected to arise at 6.30 a.m. and retire to bed at 10.30 p.m. They have a set schedule for gospel and language study. They are also expected to live by a strict code of conduct, which includes always remaining in close proximity to their companion, not engaging in romantic relationships, limiting certain types of entertainment, and keeping clean-cut grooming standards. Missionaries also maintain a rigorous work schedule. One day a week, usually Monday, is set aside as a preparation day and is used to shop for groceries, do laundry, and write letters. All other days, including Saturday and Sunday, are spent doing missionary work. So what exactly do missionaries do? Well, most of their time is spent teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, whether in the street, on a bus, or at someone's home. Missionaries also spend time serving in the community. Missionaries are not paid. In fact, missionaries and their families pay around $10,000 to fund expenses during the two-year period. So why do so many young men and women give up two years of their lives and pay their own expenses to serve a mission? Because they believe they have a very important message to share with the world. Would you like to hear what they have to say? To set up an appointment with the missionaries in your area, please visit mormon.org. For more fun videos on the Mormon faith, please visit mormonsmadesimple.com.